I'm averaging 49.6 miles to the gallon. And what does that say? 570 something miles. So I set off uh, around 7.30 this morning and I've driven almost 600 miles. I have not stopped. So where are we? are in the southernmost part of uh, Virginia and we're just about to get over the um, North Carolina border and I can't wait to get out of Virginia because the way people drive near the uh, DC area I think within a hundred mile radius of DC is just so incredibly dangerous so how has the drive been the drive's been great um, I I almost I, I don't think I've ever come down here in, in like the high summer I'm usually traveling like um, to get out of the winter and to warmer weather or in the fall like a last vacation before um, you know I'm kind of stuck there by weather so it was really nice to go down through the southern tier in Pennsylvania and um, see everything in full bloom it was really pretty and uh, this is I-95 uh, for those who don't know I-95 if I kept on this road I could go straight down to Miami Going north, it goes all the way up the east coast, too. So, like I said, is I've done 575 miles right now, and I haven't stopped once. I can't even believe it. I, I don't. I know I've never driven this long without stopping for a rest break, and I'm going to stop soon because I'm going to have to get gas and I'm going to use the restroom. Although it's bizarre, I haven't really been hungry or needed to stop. North Carolina, I'm happy to see you. Much, much later than I thought I would this year. This trip got canceled. It was supposed to happen in April and then everything closed down. So there's the rest area. I'm in North Carolina. Okay, so back to the drive down. So I get down to um, where I have to make a decision to completely skirt DC and to take like a 81 to 66 to 17 or to do what um, my GPS was saying to do which was to risk 15 past Gettysburg and then pick up uh, 40 to 270 to, to 95 so it said it was, it was going to be faster so I gambled and I almost won except for the fact that because of the aggressive driving of the DC drivers accidents 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 so all of a sudden I looked down the GPS saying like get off here or it's gonna be an hour and 23 minutes uh, slower because there's some wrecks ahead right so I get off there I, or I'm, I'm trying to get off there what happened not the car ahead of me but two cars ahead of me for people trying to get away from the other wrecks these two guys plow into each other you know one guy rear-ended the other <laughs> so trying to elude two wrecks these guys like you know get into a little fender bender so I have to go around them and I do like a little three or four mile jog which I guess that must have been really bad because um, you know supposedly that saved me an hour and then I got back on 95 and then I still had um, a slowdown um, a little bit north of Fredericksburg but not too bad. And finally the road has, um, I don't know. Oh, and then going north. Okay, once I get out of the DC area, kinda, I mean, really it is very, very crowded. So people must be road tripping. So then I get past, mostly past the slowdown. What do I see going north on 95? There's like a three, possibly four car pileup and like two drivers are on the side of the road absolutely screaming at each other. But you know what I have to say? If y'all weren't driving like a mad fool, 
you wouldn't be having all these accidents. It's like, I can't even describe it. It's speeding and it's extremely, extremely aggressive style of driving and it's, it's just like, it's, it's bad. But now I'm in North Carolina. I'm going to, just for the heck of saying that I've driven 600 miles nonstop, I'm going to stop um, soon to get gas um, and take a little break right after the 600 mile mark, whatever place I like, you know. And um, long days, so it's like I never see North Carolina southbound in daylight, so this is weird for me. Usually I am like, got the, you know, pedal to the metal and I'm flying through North Carolina because I want to get to my hotel, but I still have like, you know, what, three hours of light left, so it's great. I'm going to finish this drive pretty much in daylight and I should hopefully by, be by to my hotel in Myrtle Beach by 9, I think. I mean, it's looking pretty promising unless something goes wrong because I don't have that many more miles to do. I know it's less than 300. So, all right, signing out. The long drive down has gone well so far.